Hey people, the last time I posted on YouTube I promised to show the figurines which were displayed elsewhere. I pro promised one friend that I'd show my entire collection in one video and promised another that I'd changed, uh, that I'd change uh, to my iPhone instead of using the crappy handheld cam. So I'm going to do everything in one. So. I'm going to go through my entire Swarovski collection, pointing out the new items. Um, you've seen these, and these were in a previous video as well. This is the bird shelf. Nothing new in these shelves yet. But here we have um, the Swarovski Crystal Society 2021 Crane Nima which is new. It was sold out for ages and I managed to purchase it, finally. And here we have um, Swarovski Swallows. Um, bought late last year. Um, these you've seen. Um, this overcrowded duck shelf has one new item. In the back we have the crystal beak duck, really in the back, in the on the stand. I think that one was a USA exclusive. It arrived um, actually this year, 2022, from a collector in either Belgium or Netherlands, I forget. Um, nothing new here, I think. I switched things around a bit. Um, owl shelf has... Um, this one is new, the tiny owl couple uh, perched there. That was a present from my husband last year. In November, I think, for my naming day. Name day. Um, nothing new here. Nor here. Um, this one here, we have um, the Swarovski lovebirds. They are absolutely adorable. Wonderful beings. Wonderful creatures, and um, these are jungle beads, parakeets, uh, pink and blue. Uh, the pink does look a bit washed out in the brown shells, but um, nothing new here except the oh gosh, that swan is so gorgeous. <laughs> I've owned that swan for a long while but it never stops making me giddy um this large swan back here uh, this was i think an anniversary present from my husband um last year 2021 and the golden shade 120th anniversary uh years of innovation swan it's golden shade and that was from my husband for christmas And this lowest shelf, this one is new, hummingbird, gorgeous creature. The shelves don't do any justice to these things, but um, I favor wooden shelves because we have a railroad track right next to our house. and. If I used glass shelves, these things would shake and break. Um, I moved some of my flowers here, the small flowers. So, you've seen these. There's nothing new in this shelf. But I did promise to show everything, so... And up here, this room is missing molding, we're doing renovation. There's lots of dust here too. Um, here we have um, annual hearts and the amor flower ornament 
and more annual hearts. Swarovski used to make annual hearts for a while. And then anyway, moving to the next shelf. Or actually, this is not a shelf. Um, this is the butterfly display. This is an old and very worn out aquarium. I used this to grow insects, bugs for insectivorous birds, um, which was kind of interesting because I have a severe bug phobia. <laughs> but nobody wanted this aquarium after I was done with it. Um, it leaks anyway, and it's, it's in bad shape, so I repurposed it. And it now hosts my butterflies. Um, kind of hard to take a good picture because of the glare but new items in here include the small pink butterfly which is a 2021 release um, jungle beads I think uh, jungle beads magnet pink large which is odd because it's so small um, and in the back if you can see one of those butterflies in the metal, metal stands, one of them is new, one of is older, they're almost the same except for the colour and I can't remember which one was new. My husband gave one of them as a present for me. And in the white flower, that green and blue butterfly, that's new. And in this stand, the red butterfly is new, and these stands are also new, recently delivered. So yes, that's the butterfly display. A bit difficult to show, but... Next we have the flower shelves. Um, there's nothing new in this shelf, I think. I do keep saying um because... Um, and um again. Because English isn't my first language and I have to keep finding the words while I'm trying to concentrate on the Swarovski, so... Yes, um, the red blossoming rose in the front, that one. Uh, that was a fairly recent purchase in November or December. And the red rose in the back was a Christmas present from my husband. Many of these flowers were presents from him. In this shelf, these tiny little marguerites were a gift uh, as I purchased a lot of Swarovski figurines from a collector. They are quite adorable, these sets. And now I have to move these cumbersome doors to actually... This is an old cabinet we purchased from an auction. In this shelf we have the maxi flower arrangement, which was another Christmas present from my husband in 2021. The same as the red rose. And in this pot I have... Um, this was Garden Dreams, I think. The series was called uh, 2021 release um, Magnolia, Cherry Blossom and Holly. And then we have... Uh, Magnolia uh, ornament, magnolia ball ornament, and holly leaves ornament. And the next shelf well, doesn't have anything except oh, I have. I'll never get over how much I love this water lily. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is so gorgeous. It's incredible. I have to buy the pink one. Uh, it's one of my biggest obsessions currently. I hope I can find one at some point. 
but yes, nothing new in this shelf. So, moving on. And now moving on to these. Um, I had problems with these, this Japanese temple because I purchased one from eBay and the seller did, sent me one which was re-glued. It was covered in white glue and they claimed that, oh, I didn't notice that. Um, they refunded the whole thing and it took ages. Well, okay, yeah, three weeks to buy a new one. Um, I was a bit miffed about that. Um, Crystal Melodies, uh, the violin or cello, which one, whichever it is, that's new. And the lute came very recently. The pineapples, absolutely gorgeous. They are new and I think these, the New York apple and the red apple, no, I've never been to New York. Um, and the birthday cake. The birthday cake was a present from my husband, once again. And the lowest shelf. Here we have um, a box of tiny crystals, which was a gift with purchase. Right late last year. During one of the Swarovski's events. Those are great fun. Um, and when we were young series, there's an airplane, old-timer car, and the rocking horse. Those are new. And then I'll move on to this cabinet, which used to hold the flowers, and now I keep my sea objects in it. Now, many of these were in a separate cabinet, and I am not sure which ones. I think... This uh, rainbow fish family was in there, and the big one. There's some lots of things here. I think the wonders of the sea, or wonders of the, I think it was wonders of the sea and not wonders of the ocean, but don't quote me on that. Um, the colored version. This was in a separate display cabinet. These are Swarovski annual exclusives. The Wonders of the Sea. Sea Goldies. I'm pretty sure this was in the display cabinet. And this purple seashell. That's new. It's actually from a Disney collection, but it doesn't look like a Disney object, so I bought it. The blue fish. Yeah, that was in the... I'm quite sure um, this one was in there. And the whale is new. Came quite late. And the next third shelf in this cabinet. We have, um, this is the clear version of the Wonders of the Sea. No colors. Um, hmm. Yep. I don't think this shell has anything new. And then we can go to the crystal memory shelf. Um, this baby boy set. This is new. Recently purchased. Oh, no, wait, I, late last year, late 2021, I bought it. I started uh, collecting quite early. I was um, 17 when I got the first figurine from an ex. Um, and for a long time, my husband bought items that were sold in Finnish stores, and I started shopping online about 10 years ago, and after that I've been catching up. Um, I think the toy wagon, that's new. Yeah, 
was so spellbinding. <laughs> well, for me, anyway. And the next shelf, I cut myself off a bit. This is almost empty. Um, I keep snails and some others here. These are all items you have seen except um, here. This is interesting because I think this one was swan marked and this one had the old X and S logo and if you look at the shell here it's a lot more pointy and the beak is really pointy compared to this one. So these are very different but it's basically the same tortoise and this one came quite recently. These are extremely interesting. I haven't found any any mentions of this variant anywhere else. But that's for that tiny cabinet. And moving on to the last shelf. Um, this is a relatively new purchase. I think this was either the 7th or the 8th um, Swarovski annual um, edition. The seal purple came from Netherlands or Belgium from a very wonderful collector. This shelf has some new things like um, these are from the advent calendar. I did a review on that. Um, as you can see the shimmer, shimmering ribbon. So that's they, those are from that. And they are new. The next shelf has, sorry about the dust, uh, we are doing a major renovation in the house and we have very little time for anything like cleaning. Um, cleaning Swarovski is the last priority. The duck suit is relatively new, the one with the wire tail. And the sitting dog came recently. Um, and the Dalmatian mother. That's relatively new and I, it took me ages to find that one. So I was thrilled to get that one. The shelf here, I don't think there's anything new in here. Cats and annual ornaments. And um, this shelf has bunnies and the Chinese zodiac, but I've shown these before. There's nothing new here. And I'm not sure if this shelf, this, this is Christmas ornaments, and I'm not sure if there's anything I haven't shown before. I move things around. And I have a, I have a terrible memory. Um, here. Someone asked about this. This is um, Esperanza, SES exclusive and the foal, which didn't have a name. Um, these are from the advent calendar, annual ornament in Aurora Boreal and Shimmer. This is um, the horse, um, Stallion. I won this, well my husband won it in a Swarovski event competition. It's a lovely purchase. <laughs> Lovely win. Uh, I almost hyperventilated myself unconscious when it came. And these large ornaments, quite re recent purchases. Um, this shelf has, yes, the mother lamb, mother sheep is new. And the biggest pig is new. The mouse shelf. I'm not sure if I had the golden and the green mouse the last time. Mm. Probably did. And more 
SCS exclusives. Um, the Lion was purchased recently. I think it arrived in December, just before Christmas. Here we have um, the Edelweiss ornament. That's new in my collection. And the small lion cub in the back. That's, oh, not this one, but this one. That's new. And the hippos, the biggest hippo, these and the biggest rhinoceros, that's new. Um, the hippo mother and baby set, that's new. And in the lowest shelf we have bugs, um, insects, um, the bee, a bee in a flower. That's, that's an SCS exclusive. My husband bought it for me online. And this one is an SCS event exclusive. Event exclusive. That's new. No, wait. Um, no. That's not new. I had it last time. Hedgehogs. Nothing new here. And SCS animals. Here we have 2021 exclusive member exclusive um, zebra Amai and baby Zori. Those are wonderful. And Siko. And there's. I think these two last shelves have nothing new, I think. And, yep. So, that's that. I'll have to post more because I do buy things frequently, but we'll be seeing each other around.